Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 15th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update. As well, a look at world weather and space weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. This is all imagery from Solar Dynamics Observatory. No major CMEs or solar flares to talk about, but watching in the southwest region, bottom left-hand corner of our sun here, last few images, quite a plasma whip taking off, highly visible on the multi-spectrum. We still have six sunspot regions and no major, as I said, solar flares or CMEs to talk about. Welcome everybody to this live stream update. Thank you for checking in. 20 people in here watching right now. Please don't forget to smack that like button and share it with your friends and family. Thanks for tuning in. Having a look here at multi-spectrum. The last 48 hours of events on our star. Large plasma filament across the northern hem hemisphere. Still highly visible here. And here's that plasma whip I was talking about in the southwest region. Cresting in as we speak. Pretty active sunspot region. Another look here. 193 angstroms. No coronal holes to talk about. If there was, we'd be seeing a big blackened region. Equatorial or north or south. Welcome everybody to this live chat and stream. Get into the chat section and say hello to everybody. Hello Katie, hello Hurricane Heather, hello Aurora, hello Rosemary Gabriel. Welcome to this live update. This will be re-released at 9.30 p.m. tonight, so stay tuned for the full update then if you haven't seen it all. Having a look at our magnetosphere and as well Lasco 2, the last 48 hours, no major CMEs, but watching in the bottom left-hand region here of our sun, that is where that active region is that I just showed on the multi-spectrum, turning in. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at about 500 kilometers per second right now. This is a look at our magnetosphere for the past six hours. Nothing major to see there. And solar wind speed sitting right now 496 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux remains in a lower B range after a long duration C-class solar flare. Only reporting one major C-class solar flare in the last 24 hours. KP index remains elevated at just about 3 Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours as yesterday we reported some pretty quiet numbers and a quiet region through South America. And then earlier today, we did have a sizable 5.3 earthquake in Argentina as well as followed by a 4.3 and a 4.7 pretty deep earthquakes there. Sizable earthquake here, the Caribbean Trench, 4.2, and as well 4.7 there, Colombia, 4.3, and a 3.7 reported here in Mexico border, Gulf of California, but on the west coast of the Gulf, as well, minor activity continuing through Oklahoma. We'll get a closer look here in just a moment from USGS. Minor activity, Hawaii. Recent activity through a two station, Alaska, 3.2. And a couple deep earthquakes today. Fiji region, so heads up. We've seen quite a few deep earthquakes the past 48 hours. These were 565 kilometer depth and today 581 kilometer depth. Larger shallower earthquake 
most of the time does follow that kind of activity, especially through the Tonga region. So heads up, possibly Papua New Guinea, Vanuatu, and northward towards Japan. As yesterday we were observing the swarm off the coast of Japan, it seems to have ceased throughout the day today. All showing the depth right now. Hello, Rita Kelly. Hello, Dean Hill. Hello, Charlie. Hello, Vicky. Hello, Christine. Hello, Caterlin. Welcome, everybody, to this live update. Thank you all for tuning in and subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide. Don't forget to smack that like button. That's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Give a quick look here at USGS. As I said, we're seeing a small earthquake swarm here through Oklahoma, 2.3 but all minor activity, 2.7, Park, Oklahoma, Hall Park, Oklahoma, Pocasset, and as well, Weston, Colorado, 3.1 earthquake, minor activity, northwest of Yellowstone, as well, Idaho, Chalice, Idaho, seeing a 2.5 earthquake there, so minor activity at best, and USGS reporting 209 earthquakes the last 24 hours. So still slightly below average and nothing major to report here today. Weather seems to be cooperating across North America right now. High pressure ridge has moved in. So some nice weather has moved right across North American plate. I wanted to show you here, we have a pretty dry and dangerous situation though happening through Alberta. As reported last week, there was a, about 130 fires that had broke out throughout parts of northern Manitoba, or sorry, northern Alberta. And we're just going to put this into motion here, looking at satellite imagery. Earth from above with Zoom Earth showing all satellite imagery coming into the 15th now today. And look at all this wildfire smoke coming out of multiple new fires across northern Alberta and as well northern British Columbia, Saskatchewan as well. Put this into motion. Yeah, those are some big fires breaking out across northern BC and northern Alberta so heads up as all this smoke and really dry weather is sweeping across Canada really wildfire smoke moving into parts of Manitoba northern Ontario and across the Great Lakes right now long stream of it here and you can see it pours even out into the East Pacific here off the coast of British Columbia now being drug out by this big low over the Pacific Northwest. No major extreme weather events to talk about. Thunderstorm activity, but nothing major across central and northeastern United States. There is a big low right here across the Pacific Northwest, but high pressure ridge across most of North America. No major cyclones, typhoons, or hurricanes to report. Not even in the long-range forecast. Still a couple tropical systems here. We've got Fabian, tropical cyclone Fabian. Not going to affect mankind, but going to turn into a Category 4 cyclone. Intense Category 4 cyclone by Wednesday. And as well, the center of the low for tropical cyclone Mocha that made landfall through Myanmar. And it did make landfall as a super cyclonic storm. Cyclone Mocha making landfall, Myanmar. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected there. Other than that, much love, everybody, and thank you for tuning in. Not much else to report here with daily events worldwide. Got hurricane season right around the corner. And as well, already well above 
average numbers for tornadoes across the United States. Hope you enjoyed today's video. This has been Mike with Dilly Events Worldwide. Much love, everybody, and thanks for tuning in. We will now return you to your regular streaming services here with Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now.